Good morning, everybody watching. This is Rob here. And uh, today we're going to do a little something different. Uh, we have a, a local person who had some uh, excess cabbage. So we're going to be making some sauerkraut. And uh, we thought we'd come along and uh, kind of give you a look at kind of how it's done. Uh, what we have before us here is uh, six heads of cabbage. Uh, weighs about 35 pounds. Uh, we're going to be making our cabbage in a five gallon uh, food grade bucket. Um, what we will be doing is uh, we'll chop the cabbage up. All you really need to make coles or uh, sauerkraut is cabbage and uh, canning salt and, and a big knife maybe a food processor and so uh we're gonna do a little demonstration here of what we would do um so first thing you do is peel back some of your I'm gonna outer save for the bunnies saving for the rabbits good so you peel back some of your outer leaves and we're saving those for the rabbits my daughter got a couple rabbits that so, we're going to uh, cut it here, get the core out of it, and uh, then we'll wash it. We'll give it a wash before we process it and cut off all the bad. Give it a, a wash in the sink. But uh, for 34 pounds of cabbage we paid eighteen dollars so uh this eighteen eh, i think that's good that's got a big core um so this six heads of cabbage will probably make us uh close to a five gallon bucket full of uh coleslaw i say coleslaw I meant sauerkraut uh once we put it in the bucket and let it ferment and set a few days for actually several weeks up to several months uh, we typically take it out, put it into jars, and water bath it, and uh, seal the jars up, and uh, then we have sauerkraut for uh, all winter, summer. We have uh, had sauerkraut, what, as long as two years? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, We'll come back to you when we get ready to start showing how uh, we're going to bucket this up and we'll get some washed up and processed up and we'll come back in a minute. Okay guys, we're using the food processor here to cut it up and you can see it's doing a pretty good job. Um, we just got the slicer blade on the food processor and uh, she's going to do one or two here and just show you what we get. So if you want to go ahead. We'll... It's really loud. It's loud, but... Uh, just bear with us a minute. bowl we've got uh, about five pounds of cabbage and this is going to be our first layer so we've uh, this is a food grade bucket and we've cleaned and washed it thoroughly uh, the, the cabbage has been washed um, it's been uh, decored shred up with the food processor so we're just going to take our first cabbage and I'm going to put about half of it at a time so we're going to do this five pounds in a couple layers. So you just put it in your bucket here, get a layer. Now for each five pounds of cabbage you use, you want to use one tablespoon of pickling salt. No, for each five pounds, use three. 
three tables. But yeah. yeah. What did I say? One. <laughs> okay. So for each five pounds of cabbage, use three tablespoons of pickling salt. You can use uh, kosher salt, but we prefer the pickling salt. So just to get it started, I'm going to take one tablespoon and I'm going to spread it around on this first layer. And you can put more salt if you like yeah. it saltier, but... And actually, I'm going to put about a tablespoon and a half, so... Alright, and then what I'm going to do with that is... Let me set that aside. Out of my way there. So, what you want to do is... I put a tablespoon and a half so far. This is half of our five pounds. So what you want to do is... I have a wooden spoon here. And you just want to start... Working that salt into that cabbage. And what you'll start to see happen is that it will start to pull moisture out of that cabbage. Now, in theory, you should have to add no water to this to make your brine. Uh, all the liquid that is needed for the pickling process should be pulled from the cabbage itself. So you just want to work that around. I like to kind of punch it in, you know, get a little aggressive with it, I stir it around with my wooden spoon. Now, my hands are clean, so I'm going to start working it in, just kind of squeezing, and I can feel the water coming out of that already. It's already starting to get liquid in it. So, you just want to do that, mix your salt in thoroughly. Look how that's reduced, how small that's got. It'll probably reduce half, oh, yeah. don't you think? At least half or more. So, you can see how full that bucket was, and now we have that much. So, I'm going to add the rest of my first five pounds of cabbage. See how full the bucket is again, and I'm going to go ahead and add the other tablespoon and a half of pickling salt and repeat that process. So there's a tablespoon, and this doesn't have to be precise. You don't want to overdo it because way too much salt can stop the pickling process. But for a good rule around three tablespoons for f five pounds of cabbage. So, I'm going to take my wooden spoon, stir that in good, get it all coated around the bucket, and that salt will start to pull the uh, moisture out of that cabbage, and you'll start to see it reduce and sweat. And uh, also here, I would like to introduce my, everybody to my lovely wife, <laughs> Sheila. I don't know about lovely. I'm but uh, she's my partner in crime. We do a lot of things together. Uh, we garden together. Um, she cans and puts up food. And she cooks so well that uh, in the years we've been married, I've gained well over 130 pounds. <laughs> So, keep that in mind, but, uh, so, I now have my five pounds of cabbage in there, and my three tablespoons of salt. And it's all worked it. And it's starting to break down. I'm going to take my hand and just kind of massage that salt into that cabbage. And... Make sure you wash your hands before you do this. <laughs> Please. Please. I mean, you, you're, you're probably going to be the one to eat it, so if you, you know, if you want to use dirty hands and eat, uh, I guess that's up to you. But I would recommend washing my hands thoroughly. Not only did I wash my hands, but I used hand sanitizer. So I don't know if you can see how much water is starting to develop up in that. But as I press down, you can see the water. Oh, yeah, you can. Yeah, so 
All right, so that's our first layer. We're going to continue to to work on this and to add layers until our bucket is full or we run out of cabbage. <laughs> Whichever's so, first. We might bring you back when the process is complete and give you a look at it and uh, let you see kind of how, how it goes from there. So just a little update. We're about halfway through our cabbage and we're close to half a bucket of uh, sauerkraut so far and as you can see the water is coming up over it so when we get done here we'll uh, come back and let you look at uh, how we weighed it down and do that so we're getting ready to start on our last head uh, we've got part of a bowl here we're about halfway up in our bucket so uh, 34 pounds of cabbage is probably going to make uh, in the vicinity of mm, two-thirds of a bucket. Three pounds. Huh? And, uh, of course, you got to have a uh, little room in your bucket to weight it down. So, uh, But uh, we'll come back when we get to that process of weighting it down. Like I said, we're on our last head, so we'll get back with you. Okay, we're back. So... We got, uh, roughly there's about 29 pounds out of the 34 pounds of cabbage we had there. We ended up with about 29 pounds in this bucket. So now what we're going to do, we've got our cabbage in here. And as you can see, I've added nothing to it but salt. And you can see how much liquid is in that. So what I like to do is go around the edge of the bucket and just kind of clean down the edge of my bucket. Get all the... Everything that's on the stuck to the sides down in there as best you can. Now we've taken the outer leaves, the ones that we were throwing away, and we washed them. And uh, it's got a little black on it. Let's tear that out. But anyway, we're going to put these on top to kind of act as a a seal. And I'm just going to kind of work them down around the edges and kind of. Put them on top and this will be what we'll we'll set our weight on now for a weight we always use a um, a tupperware bowl uh, filled with water so we're going to work these leaves down in and like i said these are just sacrificial leaves kind of keeps some of the air out of it and uh, kind of keeps it pushed down you know, as you see, you got a lot of loose stuff floating up there. But uh, this is just kind of a a buffer between your col or sauerkraut. I keep wanting to call it coleslaw, but it's uh, sauerkraut. And and you can use you don't have to put the leaves in there, uh, but I'm just putting them in there because we have them. So we got one big in here. And they're huge. And they're huge leaves and they cover that pretty well. So what I have here is a just a corral plate. Um a corral plate that I'm gonna lay on top. And this will this will act as a uh, something to push down on it to get our keep our cabbage down in our brine. And what I do with that is I got a bowl here filled with water it is a Tupperware bowl I'm going to kind of push it down get some of the air up out of it and with that that's ready to go now I have a lid for my bucket and I will just loosely sit the lid on there I'm not going to seal it tight I'm going to I'm just going to clip it on two edges and leave the kind of the off edges up and what that would uh, allow is the carbon uh, or the uh, the CO2 to get out of the uh, canister as this uh, ferment so we'll uh, put this in a, a cool place and uh, we'll just let it do its thing I'll check it once a week or so and we'll see how it's doing and uh, I have left uh, kraut in this bucket as long as a year you have and, to skim the yeah, occasionally you'll you'll open your bucket up 
and you'll see some like moldy stuff floating around the top. Uh, I always just lift my bowl out, take a spoon, skim all that out, and just keep it keep it clean on top. Uh, the mold won't hurt you, but it's kind of gross looking, and just keep it check it once a week or so, and and uh, just dip that out and get rid of it. And it's kind of stinky, so and, but that's yeah. normal. Yeah, well, sauerkraut when it's fermenting. It has a smell, so. But uh, that's our video on uh, how to make sauerkraut in a five-gallon bucket. Uh, we appreciate everybody that watches this video. And, uh, you know, uh, give us a thumbs up. Uh, you know, give, leave us a comment. And uh, we'll see you on the next video.